Hello, hello, hello. This is Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking. Out here in Macomb County on Grass and 15 Mile, where I frequent on the weekends to go see the show. Uh, was going to work today. Had Was on my way to work today. I asked him for a run to go to Dalton. Um, actually was on the bus. Made it just a few blocks from the job. When I got a phone call from dispatch talking about change of plans, uh, they had canceled that load. That didn't sound right. Uh, it sounded weird to me. Uh, first, you put me on a load. You done loaded a trailer as a load, and you turn around and cancel the load. That didn't sound right. It sounds like maybe somebody gave that load to somebody else, and then you tried to make me do something else. I specifically asked for a load going to Dalton because I did not want to deal with that, that Joliet shit with their bad equipment and what happened yesterday because I'm not, you're not going to be fucking up my license with these citations, getting points. For that goddamn bullshit. And I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. I had a clean record until I got in containers. And you're not gonna fuck up my shit. I'm not gonna deal with it. So wait until I got damn near to the job. I'm like 15, 20 minutes away from the job. Call me talking about they canceled the load. Oh, really? Well, I'm not gonna be fooling with no jolly yet. We already got a damn citation. I'm pissed off about that. Made me instantly flash back to Horizon when I got that damn citation because of the headlight was out pulled out of Ohio. Headlights was on. All the shit on the truck was working. You can't prove I didn't check shit. All my shit be working. I don't know when in the route that the headlight went out. But all I know, the drive from Ohio, by the time I got back into Michigan, it turned dark. That way station that I noticed was usually be closed happened to be open that day. I go through, he pulled me around back, told me about the headlight. I'm thankful he did. I didn't know it went out. But I got to deal with a citation that was supposed to be just a safety check, a citation because of something that was out of my control. I straight drive. I don't stop. Once I get in that truck and pull the fuck out, I don't stop till I get to where the fuck I got to go to when I'm on my way back. When I'm on my way down, I only make one stop and that's to get fuel. Then I keep going from there. But on my way back, I don't stop. And I was driving a truck that did not, was not like these newer trucks. These newer trucks, if your headlight or light bulb go out on your truck, the fault code will come up on the dash and say, low beam fault. I was in one of those trucks that did not indicate that the headlight went out. So that's why I didn't know the motherfucker went out. I ain't no ghost. I can't float outside the truck when I'm driving to see that the headlight went out just before I got to the way station. And just like yesterday, I did not see that the tread had peeled off on that truck, on that tire. And the way it peeled off, it didn't go out in the street. It must have peeled off and just peeled in between both of those tires and rolled back and just fucking disappeared. Because I didn't see it at all. And all these coming to my check your tire. I checked the bitches before I got in the damn before I pulled out the rail yard. I got a pre-trip inspection with pictures of the tire and the treads on. I don't know when the fuck. It had to be shortly after I got out of there and got back on I-80 that that motherfucker peeled off. But I didn't physically see it peel off. Looking in the mirror, I didn't see anything indicating something was wrong with the damn tires. And normally when you're driving, if a driver see something wrong, they start blowing. What no whole lot of people blowing? I ain't see nobody doing nothing. All I seen was people doing like me trying to get the fuck out of there because we finna hit that congestion and we're gonna be taking a minute to get through there. I didn't see it peel off. Why it peeled off, I don't know. Cause I keep looking at the picture of that fucking tire and the way it peeled off was weird. It was odd. And then the tire, it, it wasn't flat, nothing. Now, while I was sitting at the way station waiting on the tire change, uh, you hear the air hissing out now. Now it's trying to go down. But even when the tire guy got there, it still wasn't flat. So that's indicating whatever the fuck happened just recently happened because the tire wasn't flat. I didn't see it peel off. And normally when tire treads peel off, it peels off and roll around the tire and then you see this, this big rubber flapping and then it fall over into the street. I didn't see none of that. So I don't know why it peeled off, but all I know, and my gut is telling me that was a setup. And I'm going to tell you why. It was a setup. 
how I think it was a setup. Because when I crossed into Michigan, the weight station, the first weight station, it was New Buffalo, Michigan. Crossed into the weight station. I get red or green lighted to go by the window of the weight scale. So now, the weight of the load was not the weight to even green light me over there to get weighed. So, and after all that transpired, I left, went down past another weight station that was open. I end up looking at the cameras and I'm seeing how the cameras are positioned. Uh, unless you got some cameras that can actually focus down on the tires, the cameras that I saw, there was, I don't see how you saw that the tread was off. Because me sitting in the truck, you can't even, once you driving in those containers, I'm, I'm pulling 53s now. These ain't the 20s and the 40s something that I was pulling. You see those tires. They like open, they like right there. You can glance in the mirrors and see those tires all day. Those are different type of chassis. But I'm pulling 53s now, like dry van. When you look in the mirror, you don't even see the damn tires anymore. They like disappear up under the chassis, up under the trailer, up under the box. I didn't see them. So when it peeled off, where it peeled off at, on the inner tire to the back, inside of the tire, the second tread over to the rear, and it just ripped off, it must have just rolled up under there, blue, blue, blue. I didn't see it come off. I didn't see an indication that anything was wrong with the tires. I didn't see nothing. But when I pulled in the weight station, you know, it was odd that uh, I said, either you got cameras that saw that tire prior to me pulling up to that window, or you already knew the tire was like that before I even got to your weight station. Because I'm coming across, I hit the first scale that you come to when you're coming in, when you're pulling in off the highway. I come across there, all of a sudden I get green light to go over to the main scale. Usually when I get over there, that's when they be looking out the window and they see your tires and all that shit and they tell you to go around the back. But, when I got there, I barely got my steers on there and they had already put the sign up, park. Okay. Now, either your cameras, you got cameras coming in that you saw that, but for some reason, I got the feeling that that weight station, that they already knew that that tire was like that. When I pulled out of that rail yard, I already had a feeling that something was going to happen. When I seen that, that day cab, not the day it wasn't a day cab, it was a conventional uh, sleeper horizon truck down there in the rail yard. And when I seen that, see, when I started seeing signs of places I've been, I got to start thinking about what the fuck finna happen. Okay, I'm at horizon. What the hell finna happen? That means something to happen. Because I've never seen a horizon truck down there in that rail yard since I've been down there. So, I should have known something was going to happen. Now, I'm not seeing nothing wrong with the tire. Nothing. And never dawned on me that a tread would have peeled off the motherfucking tire. What the fuck? But it did. And I'm pissed. And I don't like it. And all I know is that since I've been in this container industry, they've been doing nothing but getting me citations, trying to act like I ain't check shit. That's like I do my pre-trips. No, that's you trying to say I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I deserve the respect that you give these men as a driver. You're going to respect me as a driver. You're not going to keep accusing me. You know, I can keep saying I didn't. And I'm, I'm, I keep wondering if if you know all this shit to keep talking about, you should have checked the tires. So you got the capability to know what I was doing inside my truck at the time that tread peeled off. Is that what you saying? You some type of mind reader. You got a camera on me or maybe you know my thoughts. Maybe you knew at the time I'm driving down the highway. I said, well, if anything wrong, I'm thinking to myself now, if anything wrong with this, this chassis, the DOT at the weight station, let me know. I'm just thinking that to myself. But I done did my inspection. I didn't see anything wrong with the goddamn chassis. The tires was perfect. Everything was perfect. And on top of that, it just had a recent 23 inspection. Hmm. But you always try to put that shit off on the driver because we pulled out of there with that shit and that shit happened after I pulled out. You know, I'm pissed. Since I've been, my record 
as a driver was clean. I don't get that damn citation shit. I don't get all that pulled into the weight station shit, but they, they, they like to pull me in for some reason. I don't know if they thinking I'm a criminal. They thought I'd done something wrong. Or maybe you was anticipating me asking about a license of mine that I'm waiting on in the mail that hadn't received yet. And I knew those officers could look it up and check to see why I hadn't received it. They couldn't tell me why it wasn't mailed out, but they could check it on their computer, which they did. And so that's a warning to whoever that is playing the game with a license I'm waiting for coming in the mail. That's going on 30 days now after I paid for that license. I'm waiting on it. I already had the state of Michigan troopers go on the computer and check that information. Because I'm trying to find out why my shit ain't there yet. So, but I'm pissed. I don't do this citation shit. I don't like getting pulled into the wait station for no shit that I missed or, or something happened while I was driving that I didn't know happened. Like I said, that when the headlight went out, I'm in a truck that did not have that feature that when the headlight go out, that the low beam fault come up on the dash. But I got to deal with a citation from that shit. So I guess I got to be a ghost, uh, 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 electronic current in the truck to know that the headlight went out before I reached the weight station. I guess I got to be a birdie outside the tire, a rock on the ground. To know the tread peeled off when I didn't see it peel off. I'm just going to, I didn't see no flat tires. When I pulled in the back of the weight station, he came out and said, you got a flat. No, I don't. I kicked the tire. I said, this tire is not flat. But the treads was off. And it was about to go flat. But it didn't. And it wasn't. But I started hearing the air hissing while I was parked. So it was eventually going to go flat. But in the hour and a half that I waited for that tire place, the tire replacement to come there, it didn't go flat. The air was still seeping out, but it still wasn't, quote unquote, flat. So that's an indication of whatever happened, recently happened, because the air hadn't let out the damn tire. But because the wires were exposed, he had to pull me around. The tread was gone. The safety issue, because that tire could have popped and did something else. It could have blew, blew the other one, or blew the whole side. I'm holding containers. Ain't no telling. But I'm pissed. Since I've been in this container industry, I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the bullshit. Now, you, you act like you, you, it ain't no act. They're doing the shit deliberately. I go to these rail yards, and when I get to these companies, the same shit that happened at a previous company started happening at the new company. It's like you playing some memory game. You're going to start making shit happen at the other company that, that, that at this company. That's, I mean, you do the same repetitive shit. They started talking about that yelling shit. They started fucking with me to, to cause a, me to have to say something shit. I mean, it's the same dumb, repetitive, fucking ignorant ass shit. When are you going to stop the bullshit? I'm a professional driver. I'm tired of the bullshit. And I know deliberate shit when I see it. You can sit up and say, oh, they ain't doing no purpose. I say they are. Because you not the one they fucking with. You not there when it's going on. And it's happening too fucking much. I tried to get out this industry. But you wouldn't let me out. I couldn't get a car, so I can go ahead and do Uber. I wanted to be free of fucking trucking. Because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of pulling somebody else's equipment. I'm tired of driving somebody else's truck. See, I need my own equipment with my own trailer. Something I got to maintain. So that way I won't have no worries and no headache when I unhook and hook to something. What's wrong with this? I know what's wrong with it. Nothing. Because it's my shit. But I'm out here hauling, doing stuff, struggling to make the money I want to make, for people who's out here, they, they got fleets of trucks. I'm driving they shit. What the fuck I got? I ain't got mine. I can't say I can't sit up and say I'm making bank in trucking. When I tried to make bank, you sabotage my shit. I'm sitting up there working for other people that's making bank. I'm 
making money for them. And barely making money for my damn self. I'm driving their shit. I ain't got my own shit. They don't want me to have my own shit around here in Michigan. They don't want me to have my own shit in no other state. Because you kept sabotaging my shit. Then you wonder why I don't have no money. I don't have no money because they start doing this bullshit. And I'm sick of it. I should have had my own. I should own two trucks by now. I should be making that money that those guys are making for owning their truck. But no, they don't want me to make that kind of money here. Had some guy on my Facebook, on my, my, my YouTube, try to say he just like me. No, you not. How dare you as a man compare yourself to me as a female? There's no man that can, you may do stuff that's similar to me. We may have similar ideas, similar thoughts, similar logic. But you damn ain't just like me. There's no man on this earth could sit up and say he's just like a woman. Because you're not. We two different. One male, one female. And in the trucking industry, it's the same thing. There's male and there's female. Everybody don't get treated the same. Everybody ain't going through the same bullshit. But my bullshit that I'm going through is all stemming from one truck plant. Because you put out the heinous lie that I supposedly been harassing co-workers. And these people ran with that damn lie. And so they started doing it to me from trucking job to trucking job. Harassing me now. Because you think that's what the fuck I was doing. So these people think that's the what the right they got to do to me. Being harassed by all these goddamn drivers. Different races of drivers. And then the company don't do shit. Like at Horizon where they harass me on my damn phone. With that group text shit. Oh, who the motherfucker ended up gone? It was me. Not now one of them was on that list that I posted. That who was harassing me with them fucking messages. Now was it? But that's what they do. You sit up there and condone that shit. And then you get rid of the one that they was fucking with. And that shit is wrong. And you got that shit backwards. And you need to be held accountable for that shit. But what I tell you now. You're going to stop targeting me. Because of that Chrysler buzz bullshit. You're going to stop playing games with me. Like I've been waiting on uh, my NAACP card. I've been a member of the NAACP. I paid to renew my membership. When I moved in this new current resident, when you renew your membership, you're supposed to get another card. Never received my card. So, and I couldn't get them on the phone. Been calling all over, calling all over. The main headquarters is in Maryland. I called there. Tried to get the Detroit office. They, they, got, they, they still got a pandemic message on the phone. They working from home. It's 2023. They still had that. And then you call back. I finally got somebody on the phone. He asked me, did I have my receipt for the money I paid for to renew my membership? Which I did. And lo and behold, there was a, Ju a, a Juneteenth little thing, function they gave at the Eastern Market not to, back on Juneteenth. And there was a lot of vendors there. NAACP was one. I walked over to that table and asked them about my membership card. And just to be, uh, lo and behold, the guy that was at the vendor's table happened to be the one that handles that. And I think he remembered my call. I said, yeah, because I found it odd that the individual was asking me, did I have my receipt for paying for my renewal? So I produced it on my phone. He saw it. So he told me, he gave me his number, told me you got to give him some time, give me a couple weeks. I got to look into why when we look on our system, it don't show you making that payment. You know, you not you didn't you didn't renew your membership. Hmm. But this receipt says it. My bank account shows it. But I didn't get my membership card. Tell me maybe your address changed. I renew my membership with my current address. Where's my membership card? Hmm. Just like this license I'm waiting on. 
Now, they gave you a temporary license paper. Say so expires in 45 days. If you ain't got your license within 45 days, uh, let them know. See, they still using this here pandemic shit as the reason why they not doing shit. You, you, you got to let that go. The pandemic was in 2020. Started lifting in 2021. We into 2023. These people are paying for these licenses. This is stuff they need. Mine should have been here by now. The 8th of this month will make 30 days since I paid that money for that license. Ain't got it yet. And it got 45 days for me to end up in my, in my hands. And I'm sick of this. It's just game after game. Game with the mail. Game with business, business transaction I'm trying to do. Games in my apartment. Games at the job. You either want me employed, working, or you don't. But what you ain't finna do is have me out here homeless because of some fucking shit y'all doing. When I know this is a damn game. All this shit is because of Warren Trump. And I fought the state of Michigan for not let, getting them motherfuckers in court, holding them accountable for this shit. This game plan shit they doing is because of them bitches and they shit. All this about money. You playing a game with me about money. You done developed some, some lottery game or something that don't nobody know about. And you been fucking with me. Somehow this has something to do with me. And you supposed to be winning money? Fucking with me? Is this one? All this shit about money. Who the fuck gave you authority and permission to use me or anything I do for free to help you get fucking money? When they fucked over my life. And you supposed to be paying me that money. I ain't got no business working right now because of what Warren Truck did. I ain't got no business working at all. I should be in my mansion right now. Because I should be a millionaire with that shit they did to me. Oh no, but they didn't want to give me the money. They thought I was supposed to work and play a game for the money. And then when everybody else found out about this little mysterious game about the money. Oh, they got in and started trying to get them some damn money. Oh damn what the fuck they did to me. So now you to trickle this game over into the trucking. That's why they was fucking with shit on the truck. Making changes and shit. Because I used to notice this shit when I go in a casino. They do this little weird shit and then I go in the casino and see these people mysteriously hidden. And when I see the machine they're hidden off of, it's kind of similar to something they fuck with on my truck. True story. True story. All this shit about money. You want to keep me without money, but you want to use me to get money. And now you're trying to fuck up my license, my my livelihood, my bread and butter that I use to make money. Getting fucking citations off of some bullshit. Oh, you gonna dispatch me on bad equipment or equipment that's gonna go bad. They didn't know, or maybe they did, I don't know. I go get this shit, something happened. I go try to pick this shit up, something already wrong with it. But I'm the one that go through the way stakes and get pulled around the back. Not the ones that got that made it to the to the, the drop and I'm picking up this shit with all these lights out, like the video I made a while back. Got to bust out these taillights and shit and replace them. Or or the tires with the flat spots. Oh, them drivers don't get caught. But somehow they know everything that's wrong with my equipment. And I've been keep asking everybody, how do you know this shit? Because you seem to know every damn thing that's going on. You seem to know what I'm thinking at the time something's going on. You seem to know what's wrong when it's going on. And I started thinking to myself, if you know all this shit, then you knew what was wrong in the first place, and you knew them trails was finna peel off. That's why I ended up in the white waste station. You knew the shit. Hmm. Dirty truck it out. Peace out.